I just got back from Luton Town 1, Burnley 4, and these are my initial thoughts following the game. I am not happy. The game tonight, it was a very tough watch. From my championship prediction video, I went for a 2-1 Burnley win. I assumed that Luton Town were going to lose. I was looking at the injury problems that we have, but also I had been looking at how we played in pre-season. Uh, and look, everyone says, ah, it's pre-season. You can't read into pre-season. But I saw warning signs in pre-season that I knew that we'd carry on through to the season because they were, again, sort of a hangover of how we played last season. A big part of it, I feel, is the 4-0 win against Brighton last season. That was a sliding doors moment for Luton Town, in my opinion. Look, these are my opinions. If you want your opinions, please get them in on the comments. Uh, just please put a coherent opinion in there. Um, it's a debate. It's all about opinions. That Brighton 4-0 game, it was a tremendous evening. One of the best evenings at Kenilworth Road in recent memory. And that, look, I've been following Luton Town for 30 years. I've seen quite a few. It, it was up there with beating Sunderland in the playoff semi-final. It was absolutely sensational. However, one problem that came out of it was I get the perception that it sort of gaslit Rob Edwards into thinking this is how we're going to play now. This is the formation we're going to continue with. We're going to persevere and we're going to stick with it. This is now my philosophy. The problem with it, and that was highlighted tonight in the game, three of Burnley's goals were straight through the middle. Two of them were passes that cut straight through a two-man midfield and one of them, which was the worst of the lot, and we could all see it coming a mile off. It was a run, pretty much the length of the pitch, through the middle that ended up with a goal. Now, we did pick up in the second half. We played with more impetus. We looked a bit better. However, from the first half, we were lucky to not be three or four down. In the second half before we scored, we had a few hairy moments and we could have been three or four down then as well. We did ride our luck. The goal from Chong was very well taken. I love Tahith Chong. I think he's going to be an absolutely sensational player for us. However, it was from a cross and a big part of what we do now rob edwards philosophy look we had 60 percent possession tonight but it doesn't really matter when you know you're just knocking it between your goalkeeper and your center backs and then you, you lump it into a channel for someone to try and win a ball or win a second ball it's all down the wings and with that brighton game the way we played was found out pretty quickly by Newcastle the, the very next game. And I'm not a UEFA accredited coach, but I've seen this coming for a while with the way we play. We don't play through the mid. Last season, we were backed up by the fact that we had Ross Barkley, who was and is an absolutely sensational footballer. Ross Barkley and Sambi Laconga, they really papered over the cracks of playing a two-man midfield. We do not have the personnel for a two-man midfield now. It has to revert to a three because those balls, those straight balls through the middle of the park will simply not happen when you play a midfield three. There'll be someone covering. But as I said, I'm not a UEFA accredited coach, but <laughs> there are lots of UEFA accredited coaches that have seemingly figured out the way that we play. And Rob Edwards has come out and said there'll be a lot of unhappy fans and we will work and we will get one or two in. I don't think one or two will cut it really because we do need those defenders that are out injured we need them back desperately but i don't think having defenders back will make a difference because the problems are in the middle of the park like how easily we're cut through and it was a very sad evening it really was i'm happy that the fans didn't boo at the end of the final whistle although that performance kind of did deserve a booing there was no passion no fight 
look, I'm going to get some positives out of this as well. I thought Zach Nelson starting was absolutely tremendous. It was great seeing him play. He has some very nice touches of the ball and he worked really well with Shandon Baptiste, who also had a tremendous, uh, I guess you call it a pre-assist, his ball in from the half space just outside the box. Very similar to his assist for Alfie Doughty against Celta Vigo. Shandon Baptiste looks like a real top player that we have but having him and Zach Nelson together they need someone covering they need like a Marvin Akamba someone has to be sacrificed from the team either we play a back four or alternatively someone from the front three has to go because we cannot keep playing this formation if we keep playing this formation it's going to be a very long hard season and my initial prediction of I think I predicted us fifth or sixth. I can't quite remember. At the beginning of the season, in the uh, 1 to 24 prediction video, go check that out on our channel. It's going to be a very generous prediction in terms of where we finish. If we keep playing a 3-4-3 with just a double pivot with no one behind backing them up. It's all too easy. It really is. Uh, look, we'll sleep this off and hopefully the players know that that wasn't good enough. Rob Edwards should know that that's not good enough. We're, we do expect more. Hopefully we do get one or two more signings in. I think personally we need three or four to really round out that squad because there, there are gaps. There are a lot of gaps. But the, look, I'll, I'll keep my, my thoughts about transfer business uh, to myself until the 1st of September and the window closes and we see what actually happens. Please, uh, the best things in life are free. And you know what's free? dropping a like on this video it only takes a second and it really helps the channel and while you're here if you love championship content Luton Town content please subscribe to the We Are Luton Town podcast channel also a big thanks to our audio partners Blackstar Amplification and Carry On and also a big thank you to the record shop in Amersham go check them out tons of vinyl it's amazing thank you all for tuning in and have a good evening and as always Come on, you hatters.